self-leveling epoxy floors. Now, this is today's subject. I'm going to talk about the gold standard of epoxies. Self-leveling floors is why we all love epoxy floors. And I'm just going to start by showing you some pictures of real projects. These are real projects that I've done with my own teams and my own products uh, from various various sites. And as we go through these pictures and I show you these these projects, let me tell you first of all what a self-leveling floor is. Now, a self-leveling floor is basically a floor where it basically forms a completely smooth and level surface on the top. So instead of having that texture, the orange peel texture you get when you apply the floor with a roller, by self-leveling you get a perfectly smooth floor. And what makes it so attractive is that this is much easier to clean, it's much more uh, aesthetically pleasing, and it just creates a seamless look throughout the entire floor. It's it's preferred in all sorts of industries, from residential and uh, commercial industries to even the food and the pharmaceutical industries, where they need a smooth floor to maintain it clean. Now, the next, the big question is, how do we actually apply self-leveling floors? And self-leveling floors are actually a, a system you pour on the floor. It's not exactly like a roller or you spray it. You have to actually pour the product on the floor. So I'm going to show you a few pictures now, how it's done. You pour the product on the floor and then you use a trowel, a notched trowel, to actually spread the product around. And by this way, you can get your desired thickness. And speaking of thickness, a normal thickness is usually about two to three millimeters. Or if you're talking in inches, about one tenth, one twelfth of an inch, depending on the thickness that you want. Two to three millimeters is normal. And the next thing we should always mention, when you're applying a self-leveling floor, it's not enough to apply with a trowel. You then need to make sure that the product will spread and even out properly. And that's one of the reasons why we always use spiked rollers for this purpose. And here's an example of someone using a spike roller to apply the, to more or less even out the floor and also eliminate all the air bubbles because you will get many air bubbles when you apply self-leveling floors. Now, moving on to the next subject regarding self-leveling floors, people ask me often, well, why are self-leveling floors so expensive compared to, for example, a, a typical roller, roller applied floor? And the reason is that when you apply self-leveling, because you actually pour the product and you don't just like do a, a thin layer, you actually need to use about eight or ten times as much product than you'd use when you would apply with a roller. And because of this massive difference in the product you need, that's why the cost for self-leveling is so much higher. That's mainly the reason. Obviously, the result is much better. The, the result is much more impressive. And apart from the, the aesthetically pleasing result, you will also get a much better resistance to the floor because a thicker coat will always give you much better mechanical and a resistance to chemicals than you will get with a thin epoxy floor. So that, uh, that more or less wraps up the subject on self-leveling floors. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you can get more great videos. And I strongly recommend that you visit our website, www.learncodings.com. There you can sign up to our mailing list. You can get all sorts of information. You can see all our articles and learn more. All you will get, an, you will get emails whenever we bring out new videos and new articles, and you'll just be getting lots of great information. And you can learn about our training courses. So sign up to www.learncodings.com. Thank you very much.